Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it's the last day of my short weekend and I uh, gotta go back for my long work week this week and not really looking forward to that because it's gonna be all starting up all those machines again that have been down for the last week or 10 days while we did our maintenance cycle. And that usually is a mess starting things up. But one of the things I wanna do today is I wanna go over and get the plate for my uh, new trailer. You recall that I got a trailer a couple weeks ago and it was told at the time I'm gonna have to get a license plate for it and get it registered with the DMV and all that fun stuff. And they gave me a stack of papers that said they said I need to bring down there. I'm hoping I have everything I need, but uh, I'm also hoping that uh, I even know where to go. If there's one constant in the universe beyond death and taxes, it's that the DMV is always dysfunctional. And it isn't really easy to figure out where you're supposed to go. The paperwork I got from the trailer company didn't really tell me. And uh, even looking on online doesn't really help a whole lot. Uh, so uh, what I tried doing is uh, figuring out some place that looks like it might be the right kind of place. Uh, and we'll just have to go down there and check. Now, I looked at their website, and the website doesn't really tell me a whole lot. It does give me a telephone number, but I called the telephone number, and the telephone number just is just a, a voicemail hell, and uh, basically, you don't, there are no options to talk to anyone, and basically, it's very, uh, very general information that's on the, on the voicemail system. So I couldn't get anything useful there. So I'm going to go down to one place. It's on Austin Avenue, just uh, about the 20th block of Austin Avenue and uh, see if that's the right place. And if it isn't, you know, maybe they can at least tell me where I need to go. So let's go to the DMV. So as often is the case, it's a little bit more complicated than you originally thought. Uh, ended up going to the wrong place and, uh, you know, ended up waiting 10 minutes in there for them to even to talk to me. And then when they talk to me, it's like, oh no, you gotta go over here. But fortunately, you know what? I got a, got a little address as to where I'm supposed to go. So we're gonna run over there. Let's see if they can help me get my license plate for this thing. All right, so the second place was definitely the place to go. Uh, they were able to get me my tags. I had to wait another 20 or 25 minutes to get in there and get someone to talk to me. But um, the guy who did take care of me took, you know, got me everything I needed to do, filled out all the paperwork for me. So we're nice and good to go. I'm gonna, I've got the plates now. I'm gonna run over to Home Depot because I gotta get some mounting hardware to attach them to the trailer because the trailer itself doesn't specifically have something for you to attach the plates to so i'm just going to attach the plates to the uh, ramp on the back and uh, i'll need some hardware to do that so home depot is the next place you know how much i love to go there all right so i'm back from home depot i'm back from the dmv i got my plates i got all my registration paperwork done and i've got the mounting hardware now that's going to enable me to uh, attach this to the trailer uh, I got a couple of uh, quarter 21 and a half inch bolts, uh, some quarter inch fender washers, uh, some quarter 20 locking uh, nuts, which will lock on there, and some standard uh, quarter inch uh, flat washers. I think that's going to enable me to attach this thing securely to the trailer so it'll never come off, and hopefully the locking washer or locking nuts will uh, prevent it from coming loose or anything like that or being stolen as the case may be. So let's go out and put these things on. All right, so I pulled the cover off of the trailer. Uh, the cover seems to have done pretty well protecting the trailer for the past uh, week and a half because it's rained a little bit here and hailed a little bit here and trailer is perfectly dry. So we're in good shape here. Um, uh, normally I'm keeping this kind of back piece uh, folded down so it stays at a nice little level. But uh, at this point, I need to raise it up so that I can uh, put the put the uh, license plate on here. And basically, I think I want to put the plate right about here. You know, maybe a little bit lower here. So that's kind of where I want it. And that's why I specifically got the fender washers, because the fender washers will clamp onto this and uh, allow us to hold on there, even though, you know, it's a, it's a really big hole there. So I'll show you what I mean when I get it put together. All right, so that's sort of the finished product here. Basically, I just attached it to the uh, to the ramp in the back. And uh, what I wanted to do is, I knew the bolts were gonna be a little bit longer than uh, I needed them to be, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. And I didn't want them sticking up on this end because this end is gonna be the ramp. 
So I wanted it to be as smooth with the uh, surface of the trailer as it as it could be on this side. That was why I went with the fender washers because they're going to hold on really well here and uh, basically not come apart. And they do stick out a little bit on this end, but that's not really that big of a deal. That's on the bottom side. Uh, won't be an issue really too much uh, with the, any, any of the way I use this thing. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna kind of pretty much cover it for me here. We got the we're like I said, we're nice and official now uh, I can uh, legally drive this thing around without having to worry about getting pulled over and uh, There you go now. It was kind of interesting the uh, The guy uh, at the DMV was actually complimenting me because apparently a lot of people when they get trailers They'll sit and wait for three or four or five months before they actually go and get the license plate on it and he said that that causes a lot of confusion and, a, and complication and he was uh, kind of impressed uh, that uh, I went and got this within a couple weeks of getting the trailer but um, like I said he got, us, got it worked out real well for me got everything uh, filled out we're all nice and legal and good to go so there you go I think that's all that I have for today thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse good night I had been wondering who had been knocking over the trash cans in my backyard at night. I figured I had some sort of a varmint, but wasn't sure what it was. I actually caught him a couple weeks ago, um, actually sitting in this trash can, eating out of this trash can as I came out one night. He took off running, by the time I got the camera he was gone, but I just got this footage, check this out. So I just walked out in the backyard and I've got a little varmint in the backyard here. Let's see if we can actually get some footage of him. I see him peering around the corner right there. I have a little possum action going on in my backyard here. Now I know who's been tipping over my trash cans at night, don't I? It's you, isn't it? If I'd found you in my house in California, I would have captured you and relocated you. But I'm going to be a little bit more tolerant right now of you. I'm not going to do anything more than just shoot pictures of you. What do you think of that? That's right, you run. Might have actually gone into Flash's cave. I know it's hard to see back here, but... And can I predict possums or what? There he is, right there, hanging out in Flash's cave. I knew it.